constitutional uh, regime. Uh, and on the other hand, though, um, if we're focused more on this idea that each individual um, is entitled to be judged uh, on their own merits uh, without uh, regard to a lot of irrelevant characteristics, all these other vulnerable groups that are differently situated with regard to um, the uh, sources of their vulnerability uh, in, uh, in a diverse democracy, uh, perhaps this would be uh, the more pr uh, preferable uh, framework. Um, I will note one thing, though, uh, and it's something um, that you see at work every time uh, people have a discussion of the so-called inclusive ERA, right? Um, it may not, it, this may look like a really exhaustive list to you, but if you compared that to uh, the, if you compared that to this, right, you'll notice that in New York, nobody has really, nobody has really inserted socioeconomic condition <laughs> Uh, or migratory status uh, into the New York version, right? And it's not simply because we have forgotten. Um, I think in part it's because sometimes there's an interest group politics um, that drives which groups get included and which don't get included, right? Uh, and if we really stick to the idea that really the constitutional prohibition of discrimination uh, on grounds of sex or the constitutional rights of women um, should not be regarded as an interest group issue, uh, but is actually something fundamental about women as half the population uh, and women's role uh, in reproducing the nation uh, or reproducing the polity, reproducing uh, New York, uh, that, uh, that that might uh, give us reasons to really focus uh, on women's issues uh, and appreciate the distinctiveness of those issues uh, while also remaining in solidarity uh, with um, all the other vulnerable groups uh, that deserve legal protection.